Alright, so we're checking out the only game where you can piss off your future employer so much that you will probably get escorted out of the building by security. It's get a job. In get a job, you play as a young man who started life with lofty aspirations of being a writer or an artist. Of course, his creativity was quickly beaten down by his father, and then he got a degree in finance. Now he must go and complete a job interview and get a job. That's probably not going to happen, because I want to pick the worst possible answers we can. Our young man, some would call him, please tell me I can name this kid. Lazy, a slacker, a millennial, but we'll call him, come on baby, Florida man. I want to be able to put it in. Todd. Is there... Is there, st is there really a millennial named Todd? Is this name still used? Before going to his interview, Todd voices to his parents what he would like to do with his life, such as becoming a writer, or an artist, or maybe a photographer. If I know anything, I would say that every single one of these options is going to be ruthlessly <laughs> shot down. I'm gonna go with drawing. See this? See how mom is supportive? Wait for the other shoe. That kind of stuff doesn't bring home a real paycheck, though. That's the shot in the balls I was waiting for. Using the power of nepotism, our dad has provided us with an interview with his boss. So first you get to choose what you're gonna go to the interview looking like. Obviously, we have well-dressed, semi-casual, and homeless. Obviously, I have to pick this. Maybe they'll just feel bad for me. It doesn't really matter what I wear, so I might as well be comfortable. That's the spirit, Todd. I like how it says after picking out his clothes, Todd gets into his car and drives downtown. Bullsh**. He didn't pick these clothes out. He pulled them out of a pile next to the hamper. And this is our boss who will be doing our job interview. There is no way this lady's name is in here. Look at the picture of the cat I just noticed. The cat's eyes are going in completely opposite direction. Karen, how the hell am I supposed to do this interview with your derpy ass cat looking into my soul? Actually, he's not looking into my soul. He's looking at either side of my head. She has all the makings of a fantastic boss. She's got like the frown lines. She's got a stapler. She looks to be having a constant migraine. I do appreciate that she has not one but two office plants. Woman, can I help you? My name is Todd. I have an interview at nine. I was just looking for the restroom. I don't know. Can you help me? Might as well start off being a jackass. What are you doing in my office? What would I be doing in your office? Oh God, it is the power of the millennial. Who are you? Who do you think I am? I'm not even picking these answers. He's just an ass by himself. All right, that's enough. This is it. We're not even going to get to the interview. The game's going to end right now. If you don't tell me who the hell you are, I'm going to call security and they'll have you out on your ass faster than you can. Okay, see, now we're gonna go for it. I'm Todd, and I had an interview today. <gasps> Jesus Christ. Was that so hard? It's about as hard as getting your cat to look at the camera while you take his picture. I like this. You better not handle the interview like that, or we're gonna have a serious problem. <laughs> this game's gonna be nothing but a problem. Todd looks back at the wall to her nameplate. This is it. It's gonna be Karen, right? I just wanted to say one thing, Mrs. Ball hugger? <laughs> Rebecca Ball Hugar? <laughs> it's pronounced Huger. Oh, Rebecca, I feel like this was a missed opportunity. What are you, 12 years old? <laughs> There's no reason for this cat to be facing this direction. This cat was your mistake. You need the be the one to embrace this face. That is a beautiful cat. That's an amazing view of the city. That's a lovely last name. Obviously the cat. Is it yours? Yes, she's my lovely princess fluffer nugget. Is there anything I need to know about you? I think we've pretty much said it all. Any kind of special circumstances? Is this what you normally wear to an interview? I feel like this is a veiled insult. No, not usually. I was just looking for something comfortable to wear. So the most important thing for you when you decided what to wear today was comfort. I guess. All right, here we go. The interview. Come on, baby. Hit me with it. Start with some icebreaker questions. I just want you to be open and honest with me. Absolutely, ball hugger. Let's do it. I like to get blackout drunk every night. Oh, I like it where this game's starting off. I like the outdoors. I like sports. I spend about 10 hours a day lurking on Reddit. Oh, that's a tough one. I don't feel comfortable answering that. This is tough. I'm going to go with the blackout drunk. Do you think that's really an appropriate answer? Hey. You said to be honest. You can see 
Her, her brain slowly swelling inside of her skull. Are you even going to take this interview seriously? Probably not. Damn it. Interview evaluation. Please do not enter our building again. Ever. Applicant was a complete waste of time. Jerry, this is my father, should be reprimanded for even suggesting his son should work here. Okay, let's let's try and at least get marginal, perhaps. No, there's more. After the interview, Jerry was called into Rebecca's office. She spent the next hour berating him, him and threatening to fire him more than 10 times. Jesus Christ. Todd went to a nearby park and sat down on a bench. He put his head down and thought about his life for a while. After they both arrived home, Jerry told Todd that he had to move out of the house. He's kicking his son out. With really nowhere else to go, Todd moved in with his friend Matt and then became addicted to drugs and alcohol. To make ends meet, Tom took a job at a local steakhouse as a server. He now has to perform a terrible song and dance routine every time at someone's birthday. Okay, let's go with the I could possibly be out golfing look. I'm gonna go with the last name this time. That's a lovely last name. What made you decide to hyphenate it? My husband and I are both very stubborn. When we got married, he wanted me to take his last name and I wanted to keep mine. But we reached a compromise and went with it hyphenated. That's fascinating. All right, maybe Reddit is better. What's a Reddit? Oh God, it's a website like Facebook. What is this lady supposed to be like 55? Rebecca, I would just like to say, you look very attractive for someone who still uses Internet Explorer. Okay, I made it to the second question. She says, what are some of your hobbies? I guess I like to play video games quite often. Oh, that makes sense. I don't know if it's a hobby, but I exercise quite a bit. Okay, everything's pretty normal so far. I like to dress up and pretend I'm different celebrities. Okay? I like to spend time with my friends. I like to dress up and pretend I'm different celebrities. What do you think of that, Ball Huger? That's different. Is there a reason you like to do that? Well, sort of. Do you go out in public like that? No, of course not. I'm not weird. I don't want to pry too deeply into your personal life, so let's move on. That went surprisingly well. Why do you want to work here? Oh boy. Why do you work here? It's better than working in fast food. I think this would be a great place to start my career. I feel like I could offer a lot of input and ideas. I need money. Rebecca, I'm kind of curious if you once had a desire to do something slightly passionate and instead you got stuck inside of an office for the last 25 years yourself. I enjoy helping people become more financially secure. This is probably the most appropriate interview answer I think I've ever heard in my entire life. Everyone, if you actually answered this, you would probably get the job. Do you have any prior experience? Define experience. I graduated from college. I had a part-time job a while back. I had a part-time internship last summer. Do I need prior experience? Define experience. Something you've done in your past that would make me want to hire you. I'm still not sure I understand the question, Jesus. What do you think is your greatest weakness? I like to indulge in my vices a little too much. I don't always speak up when I should. I succumb to peer pressure. I don't have any. Sometimes I try to take on too much at once. This sounds like way too safe. I'm gonna go with the vices one just because. What do you mean by that? Mainly drugs and strippers. <laughs> Are you serious? No, I'm joking. Kind of. So she asks, what is one of your achievements in life? And it's, I have almost 50,000 followers on YouTube. I'm a level 94 elf prince getting my degree. A few of my drawings were featured in a local magazine. Finally getting to meet someone as amazing as you. I'm going to tell you, both two and five are really difficult to choose from. Oh, I got to go with the elf prince. A what? A level 94 elf prince in the fifth empire. What is that? It's an online multiplayer role-playing game. It's taken me hundreds of hours to get my character up that high and I'm the heir to the throne of new Night Shocking Shire. Make sure to tell your fellow LARPers I said hello. That's not even the same thing. How do you generally deal with stress? Pot. I just try not to think about it. Not very well. I mean, what do you expect? Quite honestly. Please tell me. So she, you're telling me you do drugs? Well, what state is this? No, I don't do drugs. I'm not some crack addict giving hand jumps in the parking lot trying to score my next fix. Do you do it a lot? Only when I feel it's necessary. How often is that? I guess. Here it comes. Fairly often. 
You know we do drug tests here, right? Which day is that again? I can't believe that we're still in this interview. How have you handled a difficult situation at work in the past? Talk to people involved in the situation. Lots of fun. This time it's number two. Sometimes being proactive is overreactive by removing myself from the situation by letting other people in. Midas will ride the pot train to the end. You know you're not helping yourself out at all. What? You're the one asking all these loaded questions. <laughs> How are they loaded questions? How about I ask you what you like to do to unwind after a long day as you sit on your high horse with your box of wine and your aged brandy? You have no idea what you're talking about. What was the most memorable part of your last job? Feeling like I was providing a good service, how I left it. It was an easy job, the relationships with my coworkers. Well, by spray painting a giant penis on the side of the building, Todd, Jesus Christ. I'm just gonna move on and pretend that I didn't hear that. What are some of your goals for the future? I'm pretty sure you know what has to happen here. You know, you don't have to be here. You can walk out that door whenever you want. I know. Are you satisfied with yourself? Let's just go with no. You finally made me realize it. Oh God. My entire life has been a hopeless abyss of mediocrity. I think I said that way in the beginning. I can hear my parents talking in the kitchen about me. The loathing in their voices. <laughs> they can't stop. Calm down, I'm sorry. Momentary freak out. Are you good now? Yeah, I'll be fine after I get done thinking about how my parents despise me. Do you speak any other languages? Does Elvish... <laughs> Why do I even need to look at these other three? <laughs> She's like, I still don't know what these are. And he's like, you're killing me on the inside. What kind of childhood did you have? Obviously not the same as yours. But I thought it was pretty much required of someone your age to know what planet Wookiees are from. That right there is the end of the interview. Somehow we've made it past the initial phase and we're moving on to what I like to call the really fun questions. All right. Haven't they been already? Well, they're about to get even more so. Oh, Christ. If you were an object, what would you be? What the hell? Come on, man. What am I supposed to do here? That's really disgusting. You asked if I could be any object. What would I be? And then I told you my answer. It's not my fault. You can't have an adult conversation with someone. What would cause you to stop using the internet? The apocalypse, Rebecca. What was that one stat that was published? Like 70% or like 90% of the searches on the internet are due to porn. That's way more than I wanted to know. Would you rather fight... What? Would you rather fight one horse-sized duck or 100 duck-sized horses? What? I mean, I guess 100 duck-sized horses because then I could like pick up two of them and use them to bludgeon the other ones to death. I may be able to break their spirit before I kill like even 30 or 40 of them, I would say. Okay, now we're getting on my mind track right here. No. What? How is that fair? Maybe against the duck, I can handle myself, but against those horses, would, but the horses would eat me alive. You're just mean. So you would take the duck or the horses? Absolutely the duck. I'm not going to have a gang of miniature horses gnawing on me. No, thank you. If I came to dinner, what would you make? I feel like we just went from really crazy to really serious. Are you asking me out? You know, Rebecca, I know you're married, but... <gasps> no, it's just a question. You can call it what you want, but it sounds like you're coming over to me. You're naughty, aren't you, Mrs. Ball? You got... Or should I say, Rebecca? How would people communicate in a perfect world? Farts. There would be no people in a perfect world. This is tough, but I'm gonna go with the annihilation of the entire human species. That's pretty dark. You asked me what my opinion of a perfect world would be. I asked about how they would communicate in it. If there aren't any people, there's no need for communication. Problem solved. I'm going on vacation. Where would you recommend? At your age, maybe Florida right off the bat. Sure, come visit Florida, man. Why not? I can't believe you said that. It was only a joke. That's still extremely rude. And by the way, I'm only in my 40s. Okay, so I was off by about 15 years. I don't feel that bad. Have you ever stolen office supplies? Slowly puts pen back on table. There you go. Do you have anything else? Slowly puts candy jar back on desk. How did that even fit in your pocket? It wasn't in my pocket. What? I think you can just keep that. If you could be anyone else, who would you be? Hey! Oh, Rebecca, tell me about how stupid this answer is. A professional what? 
a pro gamer. Someone who gets paid to play video games. They actually have those! Yes, Rebecca, they do. On a scale of 1 to 10, rank me as an interviewer. Do you really want me to answer that? Yes, I do. You sure? I'm a grown adult. I think I could take a little bit of criticism. You know, on second thought, I think I'm just going to keep my opinion to myself. So you're not going to give me any kind of feedback. I think you should be able to figure out what you need to work on. Last one, how do you think you did? I'm feeling pretty confident. I feel like I answered the questions really well. I think we established a good rapport with each other. I'm feeling pretty good right now. Well, Todd, I think we're done here. Have a nice day. God damn it! <laughs> I can't believe he openly admitted he does drugs. Who in their right mind would say that during a job interview? This isn't even on this paper. Jerry's never going to have an ending where he does a good job as a father. What do you know? I'm back at the park bench. Now I'm going to be singing at a steakhouse for the rest of my life. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Get a Job where we didn't get a job and I got escorted out on like question number three on the first attempt. And wait till the next time, stay foxy, much love.